For years I've been watching the number of women riders grow and going out to find them, ride with them, and hear their stories. I can remember very specific times of just little girls in Latin America getting so excited that I was a woman doing it. As soon as I was on the back of a bike with a woman driving in the seat, I was like, I can do this. Before I was young, I thought it was cute to be on the back. Huh. It's way more fun in the driver's seat. I love the wind, the sound of the engine. I have two GPSs, my hydration jugs, an auxiliary fuel tank. So you can do upwards of 450 miles in a sitting. I ride because it feeds my soul. It's getting awesomer every day. I ride motorcycles with a bunch of badass babes. <laughs> We're the Piston Annies, and it's a group of about 13 girls now. It's called Bikes and Mics because every one of our riders has a voice. When I first learned to ride a motorcycle, I suddenly had a community. We all have the same problems, and we lift each other up. I found my tribe, and I'm home. Everybody's got a story about breaking down in the middle of nowhere or being stuck in crappy weather. There's some times where I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get on the highway. If you get in a car accident, you get back in a car. Then you feel proud of yourself, and that's no one but you. Motorcycling by myself gave me back my independence. I think it's our responsibility to constantly be pushing ourselves, to find it out where that boundary is, and like take that next little step. I can do this.